I'm George Kondo, and uh, I was born in New Hampshire, in Concord, 1957. Humanity is really, for me, has always been the subject of my work. Most of the times I deal with the, the human figure, the human form, and the human condition. And uh, as we live in a time now where the human condition is not always a priority in politics, it makes you want to scream and it makes you want to paint something that represents the uh, dehumanization of our, you know, sort of population and how things get to be so uh, hystericized and, and they reach an extreme and at that point it's a real place to take off from in, in art. I think that when things are calm and, you know, nothing's happening, artists don't really react. But when something's happening, that's when you get a painting like Guernica or you get a painting like, you know, where you get Andy Warhol's Race Riot or, you know, I'm hoping that people will look at these works that I've done, I've done here collusion and the trial and the, the, the investigation and say, you know, it's not simply a caricaturization of politics. It's a reaction to the political uh, atmosphere of our time. When I talked about artificial realism in the late 80s, when somebody said, what do you call it? And I said, you know, it's the realistic representation of that which is artificial. And now artificial realism has become the subject of our daily lives in the news. And it, was, it evolved into an equation that somehow has been turned from fake old masters, which I was calling my paintings, to fake news. And so in the end of the day, it's a little bit like a, uh, it's, it's complicated because it, it, it came into the mainstream as, a way of being today. So whatever they tell you about the UN or about the, the relationships between America and Russia and the collusion and the, and the, and the, the possibility that, you know, uh, this guy or that guy, or they, they're characters in a play like Macbeth at this point, you know? You don't know who is who anymore because the news is all based on a kind of reality that's artificial to a certain degree. Right now we're dealing with, you know, a real problem in a, in a, in a, we have a real crisis in America. There's maybe 1% of the population that really is uh, behind Donald Trump, you know, basically probably less than 1%. I've never met one person who thinks that Donald Trump is a good president. I had never met one person, and it doesn't matter, it can be taxi driver, it can be anybody, nobody. It's become really like a, uh, you know, like a bad version of the Beverly Hillbillies over there in the West Wing. No, it is. I mean, they call him, you know, Adolf, Adolf Twit Twitler. <laughs> He's tweeting, and all these tweeting business, you know, social media is another really strange evolution in this idea of artificial realism. You think about the fact that all these trolls and bots and all these new languages that are being brought into the news today. So these paintings really just use the language of the media, back channel, you know, collusion, investigation, uh, trolls, bots, social media, Facebook, and you know, cyber uh, security and all these different concepts that are far beyond anybody's real, really anybody's comprehension. Nobody knows anything about what's really going on in the world today. And I think if you get far enough away from it, it becomes like an abstraction. If you pay attention to it all the time, uh, it's, it's even more of an abstraction. But doesn't mean that people don't have something that they can do about it. I think that the problem is that people are trying to find a way to make, a, uh, to make a, a change, and they haven't figured it out yet. So painters today have 
this thing where they can do, which is to sort of tell the truth in their art. And they can say, this is the truth. There's nothing, there's no lying, there's not going to change. It's not going to be this story today and that story tomorrow. It's going to be this story that I'm telling you right now. I can try to explain what's happening in the world, but it's not going to be a constant. It's going to be a variable. But I can give you a constant in the form of painting. Picasso said that the uh, art is a lie and that life is a truth. And what I'm saying is art is the truth and everything else is a lie.